guys. Uh, today I am grooming all my dogs. I don't usually groom them all in one day, but today I need to get them all groomed because I have a lot going on um, the next couple days. So I've already given Mozzie and Miggy a bath. You always want to give a bath first so they're nice and clean. So now I'm going to blow dry them and I just use my blow dryer and I use uh, the low setting on warm and I just keep the blow dryer um, quite a ways away from them and I use my hand so if, if I feel my hands starting to get hot I know they're getting hot but I got all my stuff set out moved my, my dining room table back I have my clippers my assortment of scissors and my assortment of brushes and um, combs all set up on my dining room table. I have my apron, got my table out, shot vac for sweeping up hair, and I'll kind of show you real quick how I blow dry Miggy. Okay, so I'm just gonna, first thing you wanna do too before you blow dry is comb out, <clears throat> excuse me, comb out their hair the best you can. And then I just put this on low and on warm and just kind of go around them to get them blow dried. Well, my blow dryer is not working. You don't mind it. They get kind of weird around their face, but they're used to it. I would love to have one of those stand up dryers. Um, so I don't have to hang on to it and just kind of move around them. And I just kind of work around and I move the hair with my hand to help it blow dry quicker. But that's about it. It's kind of easy. And if they get too wiggly with their face, I use the um, loop here to hold their head. But they're pretty good about it. That's it. I'm going to finish blow drying him and then show you how I do the rest. Okay, I've got Miggy all nice and dry and brushed out nicely. Um, I've got my clippers here. I use the Ultra Edge um, Special Edition Andis clippers. And I use the number 10 blade, uh, the whole grooming. I don't change blades. And the first thing I'm going to do is first say a disclaimer. I'm not a professional groomer. Um, I just groom my own dogs and I groom the dog, my dogs the way I like them to look. Um, I've seen tons of different schnauzer cuts um, on people's schnauzers and everybody has their own personal preference. So I just wanna say that this is just how I do it and how I like my dogs to look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to do, I'm gonna do these in videos in parts um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how I do the back of the neck, down the back, and then on the sides. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I do down the back of the neck, down uh, his back, and then down the side. This is a two-speed clipper. I always use the first speed. Um, it's, it's just my preference. So, I take his head, just kind of grab. I kind of tilt his head up and I start right at the bottom of the base of the ear and just do a downward motion. Oh, that bar is in the way. And if you, when you groom, you'll notice their skin kind of wrinkles up. So sometimes you got to pull it down. Mickey might have to put his loop on him. But I, I do under the ear and just come down. Do this side. And then right here, his skin kind of bunches up. So I'm going to pull the back um, of his neck up just so it's um, kind of taut there. I don't even know if you can see this. It's hard to do with one person with my camera just sitting there.
Okay, I don't know how much of that you even saw. <laughs> Let me try to fix my camera. What I did was, right here on the back of his neck, I started, Maggie, right under like where his ears are, and I groomed down right here. And if you see, can see his skin kind of wrinkles up, so I pull the skin up so I can get a nice clean cut right there. Hopefully you guys can see that on there. And now I'm going to do down his back. Skin kind of wrinkles up on their back too. But I go straight down the back. got to kind of pull the skin too on their back to get it a nice clean cut. I go down to the top of their tail on the back. Miggy, are you trying to look at yourself? <laughs> are you trying to look at yourself in the camera. Now I'm going to take my clipper and I think I'm going to have to put his head in the loop. I'll be right back. Okay. Got his head in the loop. Hopefully this will help a little bit. But I'm going to take my clippers and I'm going to come right down the side. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to leave the little bit of skirt they have because uh, here in Michigan it snows and it gets pretty high and then snow um wet snow builds up in their hair and then they have little snowballs everywhere so i'm still trying to decide how i'm going to do that well, let me show you how i do the sides I just kind of come down at kind of an angle down the sides Cause I don't want it to be, ooh, I don't want it to be, I know some people have, um, when they do their schnauzers, they kind of just do a, they kind of go straight like this and you can see a definite line, um, where they cut and some people do it really short, um, to where it's almost a skin. I don't like that look and I don't like the line. So I kind of take my, uh, clippers and kind of go down at an angle. And kind of pull up where they're um, where it starts to curve right here so that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the side here like right here where it curves I kind of pull up just to kind of blend it in so there's not that straight obvious line and now it's kind of hard to see with Miggy since he's um, a dark dog. And right here I'm kind of going um, to where their shoulder blade is. That's as far as I'm going right there. But that's it for the neck and then straight down the back and then right about here is where I start to kind of angle my clipper and come down and where it curves I kind of lift off kind of like that and I go right here to their shoulder blade that's it uh, the next uh, video I'll do is showing uh, probably right here where I cut on their legs and then right around their bum.